And today we'll be taking a look at Fans Toys Lupus reissue. Box looks good. Uh, it's supposed to be just like the old box, exactly. The indentations aren't as deep as the other recent boxes, but I don't know. Uh, I think the only thing different is the 23, 2023 on the bottom that's the different on this box. They fixed the fans, the feet, uh, made it more flush, changed the color on the plate. Um, they fixed a little seat for the tight end master, I mean, the headmaster back there. On and So the, the chest plate holds real good. It doesn't fall down slow. And here he is now. <clears throat> I dig the colors. A lot of weight. A lot of nice weight to them. Um, I like the little silver on here. The little two red dots. This green sheen, green steel color. I don't know what to call that. I dig that. And um, this is how they fixed the flat. They made it all flat before it was a little bumped. And um, so it really wouldn't stand flat on his feet. So they fixed that. I like the little paw sticking up back here in the back of his forearm. I dig that. Um, <clears throat> it's very clean. Um, you see a bunch of screw holes there, but hey, it's not a deal breaker, but it's very clean in the back. I could dig that very much. Um, slide him up a little bit here. We'll bring out some, uh, his, we'll bring out his pistol here. Has a little pistol colored in the same thing, uh, that green color is, and his sword, his tail sword, I guess. And uh, let's go ahead now. We'll bring out some comparisons. We'll start off with um, Six Shot. Fans Toys Six Shot. And then we'll bring out uh, Galvatron. See if I can balance these out. Oh, shit. Hold on. And uh, that's Fans Toys 2. And I think the colors on all three of them match real good. It really brings back that cartoon era. I've been watching Headmasters, the Japanese Headmasters lately, so I dig it. I think the scaling is good, too. Um, I'm happy to, that I was able to pick this guy up. Go ahead and move these two beefy guys out the way. And uh, we'll bring out some Autobots. But, yeah, I'm happy that I was able to pick this guy up. Um... I have the mind wipe and I have chomp, so I just needed this guy. Here's Blur to complete the set. And here's uh, Hot Rod. Also, these two guys are fans toys too. And then we'll bring out KO Daniel or Spike, however you want to call him. I call him Daniel. And then we'll bring out X Trans Boss Willie, who really sucks, but it's the best that there is out there. And again, I think the scaling is good on this. And uh, you got the gimmick here where you can pop the little chest open. You can see the headmaster strength and speed and intelligence. Um, the Fast Toys cassettes came in too. So I picked them up. Uh, I mean, I got them, and this is a KFC steel jaw. Give them a quick turn. And again, like I was saying, I think uh, Fast Toys really, really has their, their game locked down real good on, on their toy making abilities and painting. Here's his little head. We'll transform him real quick. And put him right here. See how he scales next to Wheelie and uh, Daniel. Or Spike, if that's what you want to call him. Go ahead and put him on the shoulder up here. Let's get ready to transform this guy. And here he is in his wolf mode. And it's not too shabby. I love the, the shape of the face. The nice sharp teeth. The cherry red eye. Um, the neck, you can adjust it all kinds of way where you can get it up, down, sideways. So it's pretty much you can do what you want. And they fixed the, the plate right here where the headmaster rides in. He's in there right now. And they, they fixed that. I, I hear a snap when I put it in there. Um, again, there goes the tail. A little pistol at the bottom. It looks kind of weird. Um, it's kind of long and wide-like. But, you know, I don't know anybody who's going to have them displayed in, in this mode. So, but I'm sure there is people. We're gonna throw this crazy uh, comparison here. This is um, MMC's uh, Skylinks. And he got bumped down because uh, I showed the uh, Fast Toys uh, Hound first because I picked him up. And now he got bumped back again because uh, Lupus came in. And I'm gonna do Mind Wipe next and then Chomp. So Skylinks gets bumped down three more spaces. But eventually, I'll put them up. And then we'll bring out uh, 
sick shot. And I'm bringing him out again because, you know, this, he comes out with the Hitmasters hit on cartoons. So I feel that's appropriate to have with Weird Wolf. And I think that's pretty cool. And we'll bring out um, Daniel or Spike, however you like that. And then we'll bring out uh, Wheelie. And I think this scale is good with Wheelie and, and Daniel. I think that works good. Maybe even with Six Shot. And then here is uh, Steel Jaw. And KOC Steel Jaw. That's the only cassette I have from K KFC. But uh yeah, it's cool. I think I think the skeleton is good on this for in his beast mode compared to the with the other toys on this on the turntable. I'm a quick turn. And I love the way his wolf head looks. It looks good, his tail looks good. He looks good. And here's the party shot. Overall, I enjoy this toy. I think he's a good, sturdy, long lasting toy. I love this color here. Um, this uh, I think it'll hold up. I don't think it's gonna be a toy that I'd be scared to transform. I love that they fixed the chest plate there for the headmaster. The ankles and foot are were made better, so that makes it better to to pose and balance. You can never go wrong with that. Overall, I like this toy. I give it a an eight out of ten. <clears throat> so. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And um, if you can get it, get it. And if you can't, well, buy the, I don't know. But that's a different, I like the, the color of that chest. The orange is not silver like it was on the other one. But anyways, to all our one.